Hello and welcome back guys. Today in this uh, short tutorial, I will show you how you can use uh, mixed references and use Excel's normal usual sum uh, function uh, with a clever use of absolute and relative cell references um, to create quickly a uh, running total in your Excel. So what is a running total? A running total is a cumulative sum um, that is a summation of numbers that is updated every time a new number is added to the sequence. So this technique is very common in everyday use, for example, uh, to calculate the current score in the games, to show year to date or month to date sales, or compute your bank balance after each withdrawal or deposit. So th th there is the example that I will show how fast uh, you can quickly calculate this um, running total for your Excel. So on this spreadsheet, you can see there is a number of uh, the volume uh, number of categories and volumes for those categories and these volumes are increasing uh, every every month you can see here uh, may april june july august so what you want to see is that e at the each of uh, every month what was the cumulative total starting from march so let's let's make a quick formula here so we'll make as i said a mixed reference of uh, absolute and relative reference so is equal to um sum is the function that we are going to use and we'll take the first value so in p3 or march we had uh, a value a volume of 500 now we need to freeze this we need to make this absolute reference here f4 so the moment i press f4 it is secured now it will not move when we'll drag it down now we need to put a colon here just to put a range so in the range at the moment I'll put uh, h4 um, I, will, I will close the parenthesis the so formula is calculated you can see it's 1000 which means it calculated these two yellow highlighted so now we have a sum here of these two yellow highlighted what we need to do is to calculate now for the rest of the month and each and every month what was the total so for example now i'll drag it down to the next month and what will happen is it will keep this frozen and from here it will drag till this range so now we have a sum uh, till May that we have 1500 quantity and if I sum it from here, yes, it is 1500 quantity. So remember, you have to make the first, very first cell frozen with F4 key and then drag it down. It will go down very smoothly till the end, till the time you want it. And you can see it is accumulating each and every month down till the time you want it, till the time you want it, till the time you want it. So till very end you can see it is calculating and accumulating so this is how you can quickly create a cumulative sum or a running total guys i hope this was useful you can also create such a uh, running total on on uh, on your columns as well so for example i have a forecast here and i want to do the same exercise on this uh, column so i will do is equal to um, sum that was a formula or a function sorry and you will sum uh, this time Category one's first February's number. Uh, let's make it, yeah, this is the total volume, so 750. Uh, and then you will make um, a colon, and then after the colon, uh, you will select the next uh, number in the range. But remember, you have to freeze the very first uh, uh, cell of this exercise. And now you see here, it is, it is uh, calculated, uh, the total number here. Uh, now, if I drag it down here, it will also uh, continue and keep summing up all the numbers till the time I want. So it is uh, rather uh, another dimension how you can make this uh, cumulative sum. So again, I will repeat that you can make this cumulative sum with freezing uh, the first, very first cell and then dragging it down. Uh, don't forget that always put a colon here because if you put a comma then it will not drag it down so colon is for the range so that's how you can make a running total guys uh, for your game shows for your uh, year to end or month to end sales or your bank statements i hope you enjoyed it I'm looking forward to speak to you again thank you very much bye bye